Well, I just uh, want to thank the Lord for being a part of these prime time folks. Uh, they're just a people hungry for the word of God. They want more of Jesus in their life. The more we know Jesus, the more we grasp a hold of what he is, the more that we come to have a better relationship with him. I uh, was raised in Canada till I was 14, and uh, when I was about 12, I had an opportunity to get born again, and I didn't do it. And it's one of uh, those times where you, as you get older, you wish you wouldn't have uh, rejected that opportunity. But uh, coming, uh, living in uh, California, and uh, kind of in the early late 60s, early 70s, I got caught up in all the. A uh, drug scene of that day where people were taking all their psychedelic drugs and flying high. And uh, after a couple of overdoses, uh, I wasn't flying high anymore. Uh, I had a fried brain. The Lord uh, spoke to me one day, just uh, which happened to many people at that time, uh, and just said, Well, if you have nothing to live for, why don't you just give your life to me? And I said, Well, because I don't believe in you. And, the reply was, well, what have you got to lose? And I thought, well, that's true. I said, okay, uh, let's do that. So I just actually lifted my life up to the Lord like that and said, okay, you've got it. And uh, then I laughed and I, I thought, well, if you're real, you sure got the raw deal of this deal <laughs> because the life I gave you was like if somebody emptied the trash can and whatever was left in the scraps that didn't fall out, that's what you got. And it was just amazing. The Lord just said, I'll take it. I just know it was the Holy Spirit speaking. And I said, well, I'll give you two weeks to prove you're real. Well, God is uh, amazing. And about two minutes later, I had an experience in my life that I knew there was a power there that I didn't have. That there was something happened to me. There was somebody working in my life. And I said, okay, you didn't take two weeks. You took two minutes. But now I want you to tell me who you are. I don't know who you are. And so it took about a year and I came through the different people to know that Jesus Christ was Lord and that he was the savior of my life. It was kind of an amazing time because I was about 25, 26 years old and all the people mentoring me were like 18, 19, 20, 25 years old. And at first I felt a little funny. I said, all these uh, younger people uh, teaching me about the Lord, but they were the ones who knew the Lord. They were the ones raised in the church. They were the ones that had a love for God. They were the ones that could teach me. And I just went everywhere I could to learn about the things of God. And I think it's been that way the rest of my life, is I always want to know who is this great and mighty God that saved me. Who is he? What is he like? What can I learn of him? What do I need to know? And it's bottomless. And I just continue to go on. And that's why, again, I, like I said, I enjoy being with the prime timers because they're a group that just feels the same way. And if you feel that way, we'd like to have you join.